Yo guys, quickly before I actually get into the tutorial, I just want to say that we're super close to 60,000 subscribers, so make sure to drop a sub. It is 100% free, and also I'm going to be showing this effect in both DaVinci Resolve and Adobe After Effects, so make sure to check out the presets and the timestamps in the description if you want to skip ahead to either of them. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you on my PC. Alright guys, so I'm in a brand new DaVinci Resolve project. The first thing we're going to want to do is just make sure your settings are on 1920 by 1080 just like the 60 FPS. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go actually find the clips we're going to want to use. So for me, I'm going to use a Joji practice clip right here. And I'm just going to drag that into the media pool. Just make sure you press don't change for the actual FPS because it shouldn't make a difference. And then I'm also going to actually get the song I'm going to be using, which is called Run Like the Wind. So I'll just search that, drag that in. And pretty much that's it except for the overlay. So also drag that in as well as the build up audio effects. All of these will be in the description, both the overlay and the build up sound effect. Now we're going to do, we're just going to drag our song in. We're going to trim it down to the part we actually want to use. I'm actually going to turn the volume down just a bit. And we're going to find the part where we want our song to cut out. And then we're also going to kind of cut out this middle part right here. And we're going to kind of go like this. We're going to drag the audio down so it fades out. And then we'll do the exact same thing right here and do that. So just like this. And just kind of space it out just so we have enough space to work with and from there we're just going to find the part of the clip we want to use so i'm going to start it right about here end it right about here we're going to drag this in actually i'm going to move these down and for this you're actually going to need the twixter plugin for davinci uh there's going to be a tutorial down below on actually how to install that it's by uh dave so make sure you go check that out so i'm actually going to have this b drop right here and then we'll kind of just line this up right here also. And right there, the point for syncing that we're actually going to do, I don't know why I was saying we're going to line up the point right here. So we're going to line up the part after he edits the ramp, just like this. We're going to line that up with the cutout part. And then obviously this will come in a bit sooner, but we're actually going to just delete the audio from this. And then what we're going to do, is we're going to kind of find this point right here. We're going to add a marker, go into the fusion tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in our Twixter, just like this. Connect it just like that. And we're going to kind of keyframe it after we edit this ramp fully. Go one frame to the right. Change this to 30. And then we're going to go to somewhere like here. Go one, two, three, four, five frames back. Go back into the Fusion, keyframe the speed at 30 go to the right five frames and then you're gonna just change the speed until we actually get the kill so just drag it up somewhere from like anywhere from 300 to 500 should be good so for me I'm gonna do 381 then we're gonna go one two frames to the right change it to 50 just like that press save and we should be good to go I'm gonna just change this to a quarter resolution and uh, I'll just throw it up on the screen what the Twixer is actually looking like right now. All right, so once we've actually added the velocity, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of find the keyframe that we actually start the build up at. So it's going to be right about here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag in our overlay, actually just get rid of the audio right here. And the cool thing about this is you can hue shift it to any color you'd like. So for me, I'm just going to do this and we're just going to kind of trim it down until we get the kill. So we'll do that last, but what we're going to do, we're going to select the overlay, scroll down, go to composite mode, change it to add. You should see something like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the keyframe kind of where it zooms in. So right about here, it should be good. So we're going to kind of change the opacity to hundred. And then we're going to go back from this point. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 frames should be fine. Opacity to zero. And make sure that you actually... Oh, sorry. I have it on the wrong thing. I have the opacity of the clip. I was on the wrong one. So we're going to make sure that we're actually doing the opacity of this one here. Change your keyframe the opacity. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Change it. that to zero. There we go. So then we have it like this. And then you can also adjust the position just so it's actually looking good. I normally change the zoom bring it down a tiny bit just so it kind of goes over our character 
and then we're gonna find the keyframe that we actually get the kill so go into your fusion go to clips make sure you're on the right one and we're gonna find this kind of kill keyframe right here and we're just gonna straight cut the uh the vortex just like this down a bit just like that should be good and then also what i normally do is i go into here and i drag in a magic bullet looks from the open effects onto my clip i go to effects go to edit look then what i do is i add the pink uh, magic bullet looks preset which will be in the description and i'll also have a little mini tutorial that i will have as an unlisted tutorial on the channel that you guys can check out if you don't know how to import the uh the presets for that so we're just going to keep from the strength right here at 100 i don't know why i have this keyframe right here we're going to keyframe that at 100 go back to the frame that we have our uh thing keyframe or what's it called i can't speak right now our vortex kind of thing and then we're going to go to our kill keyframe it at 100 go one frame after and keyframe it down at zero just that way they both fade in at the exact same time and uh, if you want you can add some sort of build up shake i do have a brand new edit pack if you want to check that out that i just dropped for only five dollars as everything you could ever need we're going to go to our adjustment clip right here cut it down and then you can add whatever impact you like for me i'm going to actually use the one from my edit pack by the way so make sure to check that out if you want to use it and it's uh, just something like a clean pink impact 100 up to you use whatever one you'd like but for me i'm going to use the one from my pack we're just going to keyframe it just like that and that and uh, that should be good we can see that there is a nice little pink impact with a shake and uh, it's looking really clean right now it's got the audio fade out so all that's left to do is we're going to find our kill point we're just going to drag in our over edit build up and we are going to just put that underneath that way the peak of the audio goes on the kill and just like that we have the full version of this little vortex effect but yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to be moving on to after effects all the presets for this will be in the description as well as the mini tutorial how to import the magic bolt looks preset all of the plugins that you'll need will be listed down below but i'm not going to have links because that is against youtube tos so make sure to do the your own research on your own time on how to get the sapphire plugins the bcc the magic bolt looks all that for actual impacts and uh yeah the uh the preset for this will actually be at the top of the description for the vortex the google drive all that so make sure to go actually check that out in the description and i'm going to be moving on to after effects so i hope you guys did enjoy this little mini tutorial on this cool vortex effect and uh yeah all right guys so i am in after effects the first thing we are actually going to do is we're going to import the clip we're going to be using so for me i'm just going to drag it in my media pool it's just a joji clip and then we're going to go into our music folder i'm gonna look up run like the wind just like this which is the song i'm going to be using and then we're also going to go to the vortex folder where i have my stuff get the build up and the vortex overlay so what we're going to do is we're just going to drag in our song press l on our keyboard twice to bring up the waveform and we're just going to drag that in i'm actually going to turn it down a tiny bit because it is a bit too loud and then we're gonna find this point at a marker right here cut it off kind of right here and then i'm also going to kind of cut it right here and then cut it right here maybe go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten frames back should be good delete this marker and then we'll re-add it again and uh, the cool thing about this is you can kind of make it the whatever distance you'd like she told just kind of depending on how long you want your build up to be so for me i'm going to kind of keyframe the audio levels just so it fades out just like this should be good that should honestly be good and then we're also going to do the exact same thing negative 30 up to a zero on this side here and we're going to cut that down cut that down perfect and then what we're going to do now line this up we're just going to get our clip all synced up using Twixter, which you will need for After Effects, just for this little effect. Trim it down, we're gonna drag in the clip, the portion we wanna use, and we're gonna line up the part where we actually get the Mongrel Classic. I suggest using like a Mongrel Classic type of clip for this effect, because that's what ends up working the best. And don't worry if the clip isn't lined up with our beat, we'll fix that in a second. We're going to delete the audio from the clip just because it will sound where you can add your own pump sound effect afterwards. But we're going to add Twixter to our clip. 
So that's how I add Twixer is to Twixer Pro. You can just go on the right side right here if you don't have the video copilot plugin installed and just look up Twixer Pro just like that, which is what you can do. So right where the audio kind of fades out, we're gonna keyframe it at 100, go one frame to the right, keyframe it at 30, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five frames before the kill, press U, just keyframe it just like that. And then we're just going to drag our Twixer till we get the kill pretty much. So something like that should work 430%. Anywhere from like a 300% to a 500% should be good. Go two frames to the right and then change our speed down to 50. And that should look something like this. I'm actually going to change my wrist a quarter. That way it's not she told me laggy. She, she told me. Should be good. Perfect. And we're just going to kind of just drag that out just so it lasts the entire distance. And all we got to do now is just add our overlay that we imported. So we're just going to drag that in delete the audio that we have on it we're going to kind of just work with the opacity right here we're going to trim it down on the kill and then we're going to go about one two three four five frames before the actual slowdown of the velocity delete it go to your toggle switches and modes just so you have the option to change this to add and then we're going to change the scale increase it a tiny bit like 115 percent should be good so change it to like 115 and then we're going to find the point right about here where it actually gets bigger drag that down just like this we just don't want this little part coming down off the screen where you can see a visible color separation between the two right here so just make sure you have something like this should be good recenter it and we're actually going to keyframe the opacity right here at the beginning down at zero and then we're going to go to a couple frames after our twixter and keyframe it at 100 and then obviously it'll go like that and then we'll get the kill She's just like that and then what we're going to do also is we're going to add a magic bullet looks and i'll have a tutorial on how to actually import the magic bullet looks preset which i'll have in the description this pink one that i have down here just keyframe the strength at 100 where we have this keyframe already for the uh the opacity of the vortex and then we're also going to keyframe it at 100 on the kill so just i'm just going to bring up the keyframe menu again keyframe it at 100 on the kill go to the right and then keyframe it down at zero just that way it fades in with the vortex and then the impact will hit for our actual kill just like that so we can see it goes like this and then it hits just like that and something you can do just add an adjustment layer control y delete it on kind of either side i'll have a preset for this in the description is super clean it's like a weird little zoom out in build up type thing that i actually made so you can check that out that'll be in the description it's this um let me quickly find it it's the screen pump in out bring up your keyframes for it and just line up the last keyframe with the kill and then you can drag it out just a tiny bit what that'll do is it'll zoom it in and then it'll do like an out effect she told me just like that and it, it's super cool you've probably seen a lot of people do that and we're just going to trim it down by the way i won't have an impact preset in the description because the only impacts i really use are from my paid editing pack so make sure to go pick that up if you want to use the super clean pink impact that i'm going to be using right here we're just going to press u to get our keyframes make sure it's all lined up that should be good she told me boom just like that super super clean and uh, yeah, the tutorial for the Magic Bolt Looks is in the description, so make sure you go check that out, as well as all the downloads that you'll need for the build-up, all that stuff, the Vortex. And we're actually going to drag in the overhead of build-up lastly, bring up our audio levels by pressing L twice, and then we're just going to kind of line up that with the kill. She told me sh just like that. She told me sh she told me sh Boom. Perfect. And it's looking super clean. You'll obviously need to add a shotgun sound effect. I'm not going to do that right now because it will take a bit of time and it's worthless to explain. You can get different over edit ones. I know Rambo edits has his own that you can download off of his channel or I have some in my edit pack. So make sure to go check that out. That'll be in the description. I hope you guys did enjoy this though. That's pretty much how you can actually add your very own vortex build up to your fortnite montages i hope you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe make sure to drop a sub we're super close to 60k at the time of recording this and yeah i hope you guys had an easy time following along with this tutorial and i'll see you guys in a new video
from the mud. I'm a 